si tu ne parles pas anglais, j'ai fait comme l'autre fois des petits sous-titres français. Donc tu peux, si tu le souhaites, les mettre afin de comprendre cette vidéo. Voilà. Hi. Today I'm making an English video because I know that uh, some subscribers on my channel are strangers. So here it is. And I know and I know that um, I've got some French subscribers too <laughs> who like English videos, so this video is for you. Today I will talk in South Parking because in my own opinion I think that is better for relaxation. It's better to relax uh, than the whis than whispers. But I can maybe I will maybe I'm gonna use whispers too. I don't know. And um, firstly, I'm sorry for the noises because um, I'm on an apartment, so I I have noisy neighbors and I have a noisy fridge too, as you can hear it just now. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find a solution for a bit for the moment I don't I don't have one and I'm sorry for my face too because I'm truly tired and drained um, I was sleeping before before doing this video I sleep every time yeah and finally I'm sorry for if I make mistakes in English because um, that is not my um, native language. I'm French, so. <laughs> Alright, today I'm going to tell you dreams that I am lived. Uh, dreams um, during the night, not dreams uh, like I dream to do the thing. No, dreams. Um, We lived during we lived during the night, and um, firstly, I will tell you a strange dream after um, a creepy nightmare, and finally, a funny dream that I lived when I was a young girl. I hope you will enjoy this video, and um, here we go. Um, so the first dream, I was in a town that I didn't know, I was lost in fact, uh, but I was looking for something and I can't remember what kind of thing I was looking for, but I was looking for something. And I was walking and walking and walking on the street um, and I couldn't find what I was looking for and finally I was um, in the um, in the countryside on a little road a little road of A leather road <laughs> and I was truly lost in the middle of nowhere and suddenly I thought oh I remember um, someone told me that um, someone told me that the last summer Um, something happened here because the grass underneath my feet was really dry, really hard and yellow 
and I I remember that the, la- the last year um, a big drought I'm sorry for the pronunciation I don't know how to pronounce this word but drought um, occurred and um, and uh, that the cows uh, the cows um, died because of it so I was walking and walking um, on this dead, gla- dead grass and I saw on my right a lot of dead cows they were they were really really um hard and um as they were mummified and uh, a lot of flies um were flying around the the the, the, the dead cows and uh, the smell was horrible in my dream and today i'm still wondering why did i dream about this why uh, i dreamed why uh, i i saw dead cows mummified like this i don't know it wasn't a nightmare it wasn't um it wasn't It wasn't um, wasn't uh, an happy um, happy dream. It was just weird, and I don't know if we can maybe find a signification <laughs> for this dream. But it was the first dream that I wanted to tell you for the second dream I want to tell you a creepy nightmare that I did a few years ago when I was nearly don't know maybe 15 years old I think I can't really remember I was lying in a high bed a bed um, higher than this one for example and I I bed and I was lying in this bed and I couldn't move I was just I I couldn't move my my neck. I I could only see things around me like this, but um, that's all. And I was on a on a, um, a baby room, you know, because there were a lot of toys, a lot of baby stuff. And uh, a baby was here um, next to me um, because it was his bed, and I was l- here as a stranger, uh, like I was just transparent, like I wasn't here for real. And the baby suddenly start started to cry. And his parents um, came out, uh, came in, sorry, and um, they took care of um, their baby. And after they lived, After this, the baby was sit down in front of me. 
I was lying like this and the baby was here, sit down, and he was looking looking at something behind me. Something that I couldn't see because I was because I couldn't move. And he was truly looking at something. I saw this in his eyes in his eyes because um it was truly uh, oh, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and um He was smiling and laughing and I was scared because I thought, oh my god, maybe babies can can see things that we couldn't that <laughs> I don't know, maybe like animals. So I was a bit scared and Suddenly, <laughs> something really creepy happened. Um, a voice appeared. A voice, you know, like a bit robotic, you know, like the voice on in the in the baby toys. I can't truly remember what the voice was saying. But um, it was really creepy. It was like maybe a song for babies, but the word voice was um, how can I say that? The voice wa was hers. I don't know if it's the great, the good word for for that, but uh, the voice was hers and truly creepy. And at this moment, I was truly scared, <laughs> and a big arm with a big end um, come out uh, just next to me on my on my right, and it was a big arm with gray skin, um, with a, a dry skin. Truly, mm, tr truly disgusting, with long nails and big fingers like that, and and their hand just catch me, just catch me, catch me, catch me, <laughs> and um, it take me out of the bed. It took me out of the bed, and I. And I fell. And after this, the dream was gone. That's all for this creepy nightmare. And now that is the time for the last dream, the funny dream, the dream that I did when I was when I was nearly nine years old, I think. <laughs> It was supposed to be a nightmare. But <laughs> that is truly funny. You will see. You're gonna. <laughs> you'll see. So I was on the street. It was a night, and I was with a boy. I loved when I was nine years old. <laughs> um, we were in um, a long street with a lot of um, with a lot of um, floor lamps, you know. And <laughs> between each floor lamp, there was a toilet. Toilets. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> they were the street, and it was floor lamp, floor lamp, toilets, floor lamp, toilets, floor lamp, toilet, toilets. It was very strange. I was young, <laughs> and 
in the middle of the sky there was a big clock flying in the like this and in fact in fact um, every time it was um, an hour o'clock a witch um, a witch um, went out of one of the toilets to to kill the people uh, around the air roughly <laughs> and um, I was with uh, the boy that I the boy I loved and uh, suddenly the clock rang rang the clock rang it was midnight so we were hidden behind toilets <laughs> and just um, I think two toilets after us the witch appeared so we were very scared we were very scared so we started to run and run and the boy took my hand pulled me and said run Lorraine run <laughs> the witch is gonna kill you and at this moment I looked at my feet a so and I so then I was wearing some 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 sleepers but not but not just sleepers it was Egyptian sleepers you know what the thing um, like this uh, oriental you know <laughs> so I said so I couldn't I can't I can't run I'm wearing some sleepers <laughs> so at this moment I at this moment at this moment I tripped and the witch killed me so it was supposed to be a nightmare but I have to admit that it's truly funny <laughs> finally so it was the last dream that I wanted to tell you I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it relaxed you and if it's not I hope you enjoyed maybe you left oh, no <laughs> so That's all for today. I think this this all is truly great for ASMR. ASMR, maybe we can use it. Um, we can use it the first time too. So have a good day. A good evening or a good night and see you soon for an, a new video bye